Good evening, because it's Halloween. Uh, welcome back, everybody. I'm Whiskey Vin. This is another episode of the Mossy Muse. We're going to be trying a couple of cognacs from Drouet this evening. If you want to learn more about cognac or brandy in general, please check out one of our other episodes where we talk in, in great detail about the history of cognac, where it comes from, what the differences between cognac, brandy, armagnac, etc. So this evening, we're just going to talk about Drouet cognac. We're going to talk about Ordage and the XO that they produce. We were first introduced to the Drouet Ordage through Drammers Club. Um, the lovely Mossy Muse has joined the Drammers Club, and I am her plus one, so to speak. So they have some great um, virtual tastings. Um, I think the motto with Drammers Club is, you'll never drink alone no matter where you go, because of all the chapters they have throughout the country. They're actually a very close-knit community. Very happy to be a part of them. Hopefully, I'll be able to participate a little bit more as they continue to have more events. But we. First experience the Drouet Ordage there. I enjoyed it so much personally that the Mossy Muse went out of her way to find for our anniversary. Our anniversary was on August 31st. She ordered them in early August, late July, um, and they just arrived now. So it's taken upwards of two to three months for them to actually arrive here. Um, and that's not to say anything about the distribution channel or anything like that. They're just hard to find. But we do have them courtesy of our good friends at Glass Rev Importers. Hey Raj, how's it going? Um, thank you so much for helping us track these down and bringing these into the United States because this is a, uh, if, if the XO is as good as Zoradage was, I'm going to be a very happy consumer. But thank you for enriching our consumer perspective with, uh, with Cognac by bringing these into the country. So with all that said, let's start with, uh, with the Drouet Ordage. I haven't been able to do any of the typical research I normally do um, before I introduce a new particular um, drink or a spirit. Um, what I can tell you about Drouet is that they were founded in 1848, like many of the great cognac houses, by a man named Jean Lhomme, which basically means his name was John the Man. Um, that's all I've been able to find, largely because they are so French that their website's English page literally looks like it went through Google Translate. It sounds like a French person speaking English. Um, because the, it's grammatically arranged in a very French way, so it sounds really weird. And I just didn't have the capacity to do the research on that. So with all that, this is the Ordage. Thank you, John the Man. That is extremely rich. That is That has a lot going on there. It's very complex. Um, I, had, I had my first VSOP cognac a few weeks ago. I've never had anything that young before. Um, I've been fortunate in my life because I've been exposed mostly to the quote higher grade things, but I wanted to see what a VSOP was like, and it literally tasted like distilled grape juice. Um, this, while you can tell it's from grapes, has a, it's floral, it's slightly sweet, it's lavender, honey, there are so many flavors going on with this. And it smells very, very rich. It's almost seductive the way it's kind of like bringing your, just your nose in with it. There's grape, there's cherries, there's a lot of stone fruits, there's very floral. It's, it's on the sweet side a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, cinnamon. I'm getting spicy notes now as it's starting to finish and going down. So, wow. It's the Mossy Muse made an Irish soda bread last night, and she wanted to soak dried fruits in brandy before she made the soda bread. And except for the fact that I love drinking this that much, I would totally recommend that you, dear, try this brandy for that because I think it would bake incredibly well. But I like drinking it so much that I don't know that I'm going to actually let you do that. Um, wow. Um, just drinking this makes me extremely grateful for a number of things. Um, one, that I married the Mossy Muse. Two, that the Mossy Muse was uh, bold enough to go join the Drammers Club. Three, that the Drammers Club was able to introduce us to this brand in general. And four, for Glass Rev Importers and Raj bringing this product into the country so that we can actually partake of it. This is an incredible find. And um, I'll be honest, I was probably drunk on the, uh, on the uh, um, Drammers Club 
meeting that we had. So if the Mies was not there to remember how much I enjoyed this, I wouldn't even know that I liked it that much. It's fucking awesome. I'm sorry. It's amazing. We're not going to edit this, though. So that's me. <laughs> um, I really do need to try the XO now, so I'm going to have to stop drinking this for the moment. We'll finish both of them off camera. Um, but I do need to be able to actually taste things. So let's switch over to the XO. I promise I wasn't going to drop a lot of brandy knowledge on you guys, but an XO used to be a minimum of six years old for the varietals that were used in it. They've changed that definition to 10 years now. Normally, I would have tried to tell you how many varietals were in this and you know, what the minimum age was per, but again, I haven't been able to do that. Maybe this will be an opportunity for a write up on the Masumi's blog for more information. But for now, let's uh, let's savor the XO. It's got a color that's very similar to the Ordage. Very deep, very rich. Gravy. That's a good description for it. The legs are so slow. Oh, that's a completely different experience from the Ordage. We don't often do the Pepsi challenge. But since I've got them side by side, let's do a nose in comparison again. Subtle fruits. Again, um, lavender flowery on the nose. Much more intense. A little bit richer, a little more refined on the XO. Um, we just shot an episode talking about Glen Glossa very recently, a, a, a Scotch whiskey, and their revival is finished in sherry barrels. And I know this is a brandy, but it does have some nosing characteristics that are reminiscent of that sherry finish, that sherry cask finish that was on that scotch. A lot of sour cherries are coming through. It's very, very rich and intense. Um, there's kind of almost a note of licorice. I'm getting a little licorice. Some treacle, which is the fancy British word for molasses. There's a little bit of that sweet molasses kick going in there as well. And that's really fascinating when you transpose it against the, f the rich, sour fruitiness of the nose. And it is also oh smooth. It is so delightfully smooth. Um, uh, I don't know that I have gone on like this about a brandy in a while, but this is uh, worth worth the wait. And definitely um, fortunate that we met the people that we met that were able to introduce us to this brand. So. I don't know. I'll have to do the Pepsi challenge across the board there, aren't I? So um, this is definitely in the top two or three. So Drue Cognac, Ordage, and XO are both excellent, excellent varieties. Check them out. Um, highly recommend them. I'm going to enjoy finishing the rest of these and probably going to bed after that. Thank you very much. Have a good night, guys.